to West Brom fan TV. Now, we're at the pub already, we're in uh, London Bridge at the minute. Usually, I'd have started the video a bit earlier, but obviously, it'd be very hard to get down here. We've got here a solid four hours before kickoff, but what do I think the score's going to be? Short and sweet, I think Millwall are going to beat us 2 1. Um, great side at home, very good defensively. We ain't got the firepower, to be fair. Curl Brown hopefully will be here to watch. And yes, I know I have to get the beer in the shop. We're at a Millwall fans club, and um, surprisingly, we've been all right so far, even though I got the badge and then I'll respond to that. Uh, yeah, fingers crossed we get a result. Can't see it happening, in fact, because Millwall are strong, especially after being what they're doing in the midweek. But yeah, we'll see Dick and Levi at the ground, we'll see what happens, who knows? We all great travel to these games thinking the same thing, disappointment, but sometimes they're pulling something out of the back. Right, finally, Dad's on the channel. What's the score going to be today? Dad's on the channel and Dad's on the beer. Right, I think today, I don't want to say this, but from the performance we've given, I'd say they might lose 2-0. Can I also ask, what are you drinking today, Dad? This is Amstel. Can you give us a beer review? We're in the King's Head. In uh, London Bridge. <laughs> very, very recommended. Have a quick sip, go on. What are you giving that out of ten? Out of ten? That's uh, a good nine and a half. Nine and a half. <laughs> Wow, we love that. He, he started off the beer reviews in superb form. <laughs> Give us an up the Albion, Dad. Go on. Up the Albion. Yeah, I know. We're with Kurt and Tom, two West Brom fans. What do you think the score's going to be today? Oh, it's quite hard to predict that one, but it's probably a guaranteed 0-0, isn't it? Let's be honest. No, no. I think it'll be tight. I think Jeb Wallace will be up for it, yeah. but... Score draw or a Millwall? God, you got a, you got a nail on. What's God. the score going to be? 2-1 to Millwall. 2-1, oh. Two one. You match my one, to be fair. I did say that. But yeah, it, it's um, it's weird because no one's wearing colours in here. <laughs> well, Apart Millwall. from the Liverpool fans. We're They're never Millwall, in mate. Yeah. We've heard bad things. Apart from it. my dad. So, uh, yeah. Brave Tim. Back in the album. <laughs> and I'm here wearing Millwall colours. What am I doing? Oh, what a fucking wanker he is. <laughs> so it all kicked off in the football factory. What a place. You know me, I never let down these box. Now, in enemy territory, the Millwall Fans Pub, uh, not Pub, uh, Millwall Fans Cafe, Millwall Cafe, great place. Sausage chips and curry sauce. That place, it's okay, it's a bit long. We're alright then. Here we go, what we're thinking. Mate. <laughs> It is super. I went here last about two seasons ago. You're fantastic there. It's fantastic now.
Oh, I don't know what we're doing with this squad 11 today. No Asante. Oh, what's going on? Oh. It's a great save. Oh, he was offside anyway. There you go. Oh. Brexit. Uh, Jed's just had a great chance one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Try to take him round and the keeper's just got a leg on it. Oh, it's, we're, we're really looking good today. It's, it's a rarity. Oh, yeah, we are surely got to get another zoom. Half-time at the den, 1-1. One -one. If you wonder why we haven't got as many clips from that first half, it's just getting shoved around um, about every five minutes of the game when I tried to record by um, our own fans. I mean, their point was that I was filming the game as it was happening, but I wasn't. As you know, if you watch my vlogs, I respond to what happens on the pitch after it happens. I told them that you're not in the video, so don't worry, and they were still having a go at me. So it just says it all, and then people are just still going on at me for the reason that I'm filming. Well, yes, I have to get a video out, so obviously I have to. If they don't understand that and can't accept that, then move somewhere else, because if I'm not filming you or bothering you, they're not. I don't see the problem, to be fair, it is after the actual incident's happening in the game. So the goal, I filmed after it went in, a solid 15 seconds after, and there were still limbs. But as I was saying, uh, probably deserve 1-1 one, one at the minute. It's the equal game. Millwall are playing how Millwall do. Uh, very scrappy, but that's what they do well, really, in this league. Uh, we look all right. I mean, I say that, we've had some chances, which I wasn't expecting. We scored a decent goal, a bit of magic from Wallace. Wallace should have got a goal, to be fair, to make it 2-1 or 2-0. I can't remember, because he's 1-1 with the keeper. But, yeah, so far, I'd say that's about even 1-1. One, one. Still sticking with 2-1 Millwall, because I've got a feeling they'll nick it, because they're a good team. Um, but, yeah. Oh, well. Go to the second half. I think it's crossed over, we can, we can get a result. But Millwall do look. I'd say slightly better out of the two teams as much as it is quite even. Yeah, yeah, I'll be quick. Sixty minutes in and it's short. It's great to see the mantle change finally with some decent people. Nick and Levi. Thank God. Um, yeah, a ball into the box. It was a foul from a reach of league. Um, grabbed hold of the player, they played on and it's just not about that far about wide going in. We're very lucky to be fair because Palmer wouldn't, wouldn't have saved that. It's very close. Wow. Really got to get a bit of attacking momentum going forward because we're not doing much at the minute. Very lucky to be still in this. Mill another great chance. Edge of the box, left hand side. Ball's fizzed in. He's tried to curl it into the bottom corner. Just went wide. We really just need to attack a bit more, have a bit more intensity. Wallace seems a bit like the occasion's getting to him being back at the den. Dig on, it surely needs to be brought on soon. Add a bit more energy. He's offside! 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 Swigs off. 
Um, Swift and Garner Rickman off for Rogic and uh, Malumbi. We must have a game plan because that's very interesting substitution. Oh well. We'd like to see D Garner. We're 80 minutes in and I know there's no highlights because nothing ever happens. I swear down. We just don't look good at all on the attack. There's nothing it's there. Wrong. DK getting injured. It's the biggest downfall of our season because we've just got nothing going forward to hit him, really, in these later stages. Grant would be fantastic off the bench in these last 15, but he's never... Nothing. We're useless. Get it out. Being positive, but this is the worst West Brom team I've ever seen in my lifetime. I know it ain't been long, 2004 I was born, but these are, these are awful. The players we're seeing on the pitch at the minute, I've lost it with these. We've just got nothing going forward. We are completely useless. Four in blanks every time, we've got nothing there. No one going forward. We've got centre backs for disciplinary issues. Clear to see if Bartley does not know what he's doing. He gets sent off. Um, Millwall have played for a game plan and they've deserved it. I'm not even going to be salty about it. They have deserved it fair and square that they're the better team. And we've been shit. Awful. They're not fit to wear the shirts, some of these out there today. I'm sorry to say it, but I've got to be honest because I'm, I'm, being, I'm being too nice. We're shocking. We are dreadful. We are absolutely abysmal. I don't even look forward to going to these games anymore. We're that bad. I used to love going to the Albion. We need to see serious change in this club. And it's not Bruce, it's not the manager. We need it from the, the, the core of this club because it is toxic to the ground up. And I'm disgusted by what I'm watching at the minute, which is so bad. Oh,